Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Amy and this is Thrift Adventure. Uh, today I have a ship with me video for you. In these videos, I go day to day and I show the different items that I'm shipping out. I talk about how much they sold for, what I paid for them and what my profit is. So you wanna be sure to watch all the way to the end because I always have interesting and unique items and hopefully you can learn some different things to keep your eyes out for when you're out thrifting. So let's get started. Uh, these sales are from over the weekend and I have a few sales on uh, from Cherish.com and quite a few sales from Poshmark. So the first item that sold is this really great, actually it's not coming across on camera very well, but this is a Murano glass ashtray and oh, you can't see it, but it has these really great uh, controlled bubbles throughout that are really beautiful and perfectly symmetrical. I really wish you could see it. Uh, this ended up selling for $131. I had paid just $5 for this at an estate sale. I always keep my eyes out for uh, vintage art glass ashtrays because uh, people will still buy them to use as decorative pieces. Sometimes people will put their jewelry in them on uh, their dresser or just in a sunny window seal and they really look beautiful. So uh, like I said, this sold for 131, Cherish charges a 22% seller's fee. So after their fee and my cost of goods, my profit was $98.50. You guys know how much I love having big profits, don't we all? So I was very excited to sell that. This next item also sold on Cherish and it is this cute little pink elephant. I don't typically pick up figurines, uh, but for some reason, this little guy just spoke to me. He does have the original sticker on the bottom and it says Kelvin's. So I just thought he was really cute. And this sold for $39. I had paid $2 for it. So after Cherish's fee and my cost of goods, that made my profit $28.42. Uh, I do typically on Cherish offer local pickup for my items also. So this person happens to only live about an hour away from me. So they've just decided to come pick it up instead of having me ship it. So I'm gonna move both of these out of the way so that I don't break them and I'll package this one up off camera. Okay, and I did want to mention that I got the email to try out the beta for Poshmark's pr promoted listings. Uh, now I, I, I don't, it will still remain to be seen if it's something that I will participate in after it's not free anymore. So far, it's not really looking like it's worth it to me. They are saying that I have made three sales in six days from the promoted listings. Uh, I wish I would have written it down, but it was about $148 in sales, but the charge for the promoted listing so far would, would have been $46. So to me, that is not worth it. Uh, like a third of the value of my sales to promote the listing, that just, that just doesn't seem good to me, but I still have eight more days on the free trial. So I will uh, try and remember to report back. Okay, so this is one of the items that sold on Poshmark. It is this really cute little card case wallet and it is by Icon Los Angeles. And Icon is I-C-O-N. They have really interesting uh, pieces that look like they're, you know, have painted scenes. The leather is really nice. I picked this up at an estate sale with a bag that was also this brand. The little card case sold for $40. Uh, there's some pretty great resale prices on this brand, so I would recommend keeping your eyes out for it. I had never heard of it or seen it before. I just thought it looked like nice quality and it was only $5 for the purse and this little wallet. So I thought that's a great deal. I'm gonna pick it up. So, like I said, it sold for 40. I'm gonna say my cost of goods was two on this. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit 
That sold quite quickly also, only within about a week or two. So that always makes me happy. The next item that sold is this snakeskin belt with this kind of chunky gold square buckle. I always pick up vintage, vintage I'm struggling, uh, snakeskin belts or any snakeskin belts when I come across them. I do pretty well with them. This one sold for $38 and it was a full price sale. This did come from the promoted listing. So I'm still trying to figure it out, but it looks like you just set a certain budget. So they're recommending that I would spend $40 a week promoting my listings. And then they just promote whatever they want. So you can't like select to promote a certain, certain item or anything like that. It's just an overall budget for how much you wanna pay to promote your listings and then they pick them out. But I am happy to have this full price sale from that. And I am thankful that they offered me to participate in the promoted listings. So like I said, it sold for 38. I only paid a dollar for this. So after Poshmark fees, that made my profit $29.40. That is a great profit as far as I'm concerned. This item was also an item, actually the wallet was also part of the promoted listings. So this is a really beautiful antique brooch and it has uh, garnet stones in there. Just a really pretty piece. This ended up selling for $65. I'm not certain this could be more valuable than that. I did do some research and find some similar pieces, almost identical, and they were priced uh, in the 60 to to $100 range. So I don't think this is too far off. And I am happy with that $65 because I only paid a dollar for this at an estate sale. I just want this really tight in there so it doesn't rattle around. So let's see, after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $51. Another awesome profit, $1 into $51 is really amazing in my book. For those of you who are new to my channel, I get these cute little boxes from the dollar store. They are actually in the food service section. Uh, but I like them because they're a little bit more heavy duty. They are, they come in a pack of 10 for $1.39, so they're pretty affordable. And I, my buyers really seem to like them. They say uh, that they think they can reuse them. Let's see. And then for my ribbon, I do not buy new ribbon. I only buy ribbon at estate sales and yard sales. And sometimes my friends and family save it for me. Um, so I just don't like to buy stuff new that I feel like people are gonna throw away. Okay, the next item that sold is this interesting sterling silver bracelet. And it's just, it's quite heavy. And when I picked it up, I could tell that it was quality and it had this little mark. I don't think you're gonna be able to see that, but it is marked Uno Day 50. And it just felt like a higher end or designer type piece. And I saw it at the thrift store for two, $2. So I just decided to grab it. This took a while to sell. I had it priced a little bit higher, uh, but I got an offer for $45. So I decided to go ahead and accept that because it had been listed for a little bit of time. So like I said, I paid two. So that made my profit $34. That is really great in my book. I'm happy to move that out. These do ha did have a little bit higher retail value. I think in the 100 to $150 range. But as we all know, not everything keeps all of its retail value. So we have to take what we can get 
on the resale market. And like I said, overall, I am happy with that. The next item was a pretty quick sale. I did accept an offer on it. I had had it in my money pile forever and I've had been having my brother-in-law help me do some photography. He's in between jobs and so I'll just have him come in and take pictures of jewelry for me every now and again. And it's really, it's really helpful because he takes the pictures, he edits them, and then he uploads them and saves them. Boy, I am just tongue tied today. Saves them to drafts. So I have, you know, pictures all ready for me to just make the listing and publish it. So this is just a little charm bracelet and it has these little cube uh, stone charms on it. I just thought this was really cute. It, uh, I got an offer for 18. I just decided to go ahead and accept it. I may have been able to wait for a few more dollars, but I just really didn't think that it was such a special piece that I really needed to hang on to it for very long. Plus, uh, this was given to me, so my cost of goods is zero. So that made my profit $14.40. I typically give him, because he doesn't come all the time, I typically give him kind of lower priced items to photograph for me because I just have him take four or five pictures of each one and I because I don't want to pay him for too much time, you know what I mean? And so, I just have him list these items in my death pile and typically I end up making a little bit of money plus it you know keeps my closet moving and it helps him out a little bit while he is in between jobs. Okay the next item is a buy Felicia item. I am so glad that these are going. These are a pair of figs technical scrub pants. Everybody rant, raves about figs. I have had these for, I don't know, probably two years. I've sent out tons and tons of offers. They did actually sell once, but I had put in the listing that they were a certain color of blue the first time, and the buyer claimed that I was incorrect on the color of blue that they were. So I felt like I should accept the return because she was probably ordering them to go with a top that she had in that color. So when I got them back, I just changed the listing to say, I think they are this color or this color. And they finally sold for $22, not worth all the time and effort that went into them but they are gone. I paid $4, so that made my profit $11.58. Happy to have that money in my pocket, and not like these took up that much space, but I just hate having, you know, things that aren't really special just hanging around forever. So this is a nice little wool sweater vest and it is vintage. It's 100% Shetland wool and it's by Crew. I've never heard of that brand before. Uh, it had some nice little wooden buttons, just some great details. This ended up selling for $20. It was listed since last winter, so a little bit of time. I think maybe I just had it listed too high to begin with, but I am happy with the $20. I only paid a dollar for it. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $15. I am happy that my sales have sta stayed a little bit more steady because they, like I said, they had been really slow. So overall, I am happy with my sales this weekend. So don't go anywhere. Uh, there will be at least one more clip, probably two, to share what else I sell this week. So I will see you then.
Hi there, it's a couple days later and here is the first thing I sold. I had a couple really exciting sales. This is a mid-century credenza that I picked up at an estate sale for $40. It sold for $595. I'm so excited. So that made my profit about $555 uh, minus about a $20 processing fee from my credit card company. So this is a really awesome sale. All right, I will turn you around and share what else I sold over the last couple of days. I'm super excited about the sales that I had the last couple of days. Like I said, that little credenza cabinet sold for 595. I paid 40. Uh, so after the fees that Square charges to accept credit card, that made my profit $532.17. That also, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but that sold quite quickly. I bought that uh, at an estate sale about a month ago and I listed it on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, and the gal's gonna come pick it up locally. So I'm super excited about that. A really amazing profit. I needed that sale big time. So another pretty great sale. This item sold on Cherish, and this is a James Mont style ice bucket. And it's like a metal material, and it has this metal and plastic interior. This uh, design was made, there's a pitcher, a smaller ice bucket, and some other kind of accessories that go with it. And it's a pretty, um, Desirable, I don't, maybe desirable is not the right word because this took forever to sell. I mean, years. But it ended up selling for $213. I think maybe I just had it priced too high to begin with, I'm not sure, but I am happy uh, to get that $213 for it and to get it out of my hair. I did pay up for this a little bit. I paid $35 because I knew that they uh, could sell for higher prices. This, if I didn't mention it, this sold on Cherish. And after their fee and my cost of goods, that made my profit $133.34. I am thrilled with that. Happy to get this out of the way. It might take me a little bit of time to package up, but that's okay. I think it is worth it for that profit. So I am going to move this out of the way. Very excited to have a couple higher dollar sales. I really needed that. Uh, the rest of the items sold on Poshmark. And the first item that sold is this vintage sterling silver kind of modernist bracelet. This is quite heavy and it does have, uh, a, you're not, I don't think you're gonna be able to see that, but it has a Taxco mark on it. And that is T-A-X-C-O. So you wanna give that a look up because some of these pieces can sell for pretty great prices. And a lot of people don't, you know, know the name Taxco, so you can still pick these pieces up for affordable prices. Did I say it sold for $60? I only paid a dollar for it at a yard sale. It was in a clump. They just had a clump of jewelry on the table that was all tangled up and mixed together. And I could tell that this piece was sterling. It was really uh, tarnished, but there was this piece and then another gold chain that I thought might be real gold. So I just took the clump up to the lady and said, how much for all this jewelry? And she said, five bucks. So I'm calling my cost of goods a dollar on this because there was quite a few pieces in there. That other necklace did not end up being real gold, but still a nice little wearable piece. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $47. Really an excellent profit. And this didn't take too long to sell, maybe a couple of months. So not too bad as far as you know, kind of higher price jewelry goes. Okay, next up, a couple of belts. Not that any of you will be surprised. The first one is this pretty cool Justin brand concho belt. These are called conch or conchos or concha. Uh, I usually put all, all of those 
in there. And honestly, I don't know what the difference is. Sorry, I've got hair in my mouth. Um, I need to look that up. But I just thought the style of this was really cool. It is kind of tarnished, but I did still like it. You know me. I still pick up items even if they're distressed or tarnished. This ended up selling for $34. I think I had it priced a little bit higher um, just because I thought it was more of a substantial piece but I sent out 30% off offers to likers with discounted shipping and that was for $34 and the buyer accepted. I had paid $2 for this. So after posh fees and my cost of goods that made my profit $23.18. I think that is a great profit. I love, love, love selling belts. You guys are I'm sure so tired of hearing me say that. The next item that sold is this kind of reptile print leather golf belt. You see that that has a golf motif and this is genuine leather. I kind of expected this to uh, sell for more than it did. I think I had it priced at uh, 39 originally and it ended up selling for $18. But it had been listed for a while so when I got that $18 offer. I just decided to go ahead and accept it. I had paid $3 for it, but that still left me with a profit of $11.40. Sometimes things don't sell for as much as I think they will, and I just have to accept that and move on to the next item. And overall, I am still, you know, happy with that profit. Oh, I am sorry if you can hear my air conditioner in the background, but we are having a heat wave. It's supposed to get up to 106 today. And I think I would be sweating if I didn't have it on. So I apologize for that. Okay, the next item that sold is this really gorgeous pair of Freebird boots. These were in really great condition. You know, they did have distressing to the toes, but that, they come that way. So these sold for $132, another really exciting sale. I had picked these up at that rodeo, one of those rodeo princess uh, fundraiser sales. And it was just like you, put a bunch of stuff in your bag and then went up there and either offered them a price or they would, um, let's see, how are these gonna go? <laughs> or they would tell you a price. On this day, they told me a price and it ended up making my average cost of goods $3 per item. Let's see, I think I'm gonna wrap these individually just cause they have all these buckles and stuff. I don't want them to scratch the other one. Okay, so anyways, they sold for $132. I paid $3. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, I think also discounted shipping on this, that made my profit $100.58. I am thrilled with that. These did take a little bit of time to sell, but I did have them priced at the high end of comps so i think that's probably why they took a little bit longer to sell i'm gonna wrap that other one up off camera okay another thing that i'm happy that sold uh is this cute really cute reversible patagonia fleece jacket patagonia just has not been selling for or as quickly for me as it used to so I would keep that in mind if you are sourcing it. I used to be able to buy pretty much anything Patagonia and it would sell pretty quickly for great prices. This did sell for $58, which I think is a great price. I believe, so I had sent out 20% off offers with discounted shipping and then 30% off offers with discounted shipping uh, consecutive days. So I'm not sure if this was sold at the 20% off or 30% off, but either way, 
I'm happy with $58. I did pay $10 for it. So that made my profit $36.40. Still a really nice profit. And I think I am just going to be, you know, a little more conscientious about what Patagonia items I pick up and how much I pay for them because I think uh, I'm going to want to be picking up more st substantial or current items uh, with Patagonia or just make sure I'm not paying too high a price. Okay, the next item that sold is this Tommy Bahama silk, yes, silk Hawaiian print shirt. I do okay with Tommy Bahama. Uh, when I bought this, I didn't realize that it had some tiny pin marks on it, ink marks. Uh, but I got it at a fill the bag sale and my average cost of goods for that sale was 15 cents. So I just decided to list it anyways, because it's this printed, you couldn't really see the pin marks. And of course I did indicate in the listing that there was pin marks and show pictures of them but it still sold for $35. Tommy Bahama has a pretty high retail and some of their pieces uh, resale for pretty good prices. So I do pick it up if I can find it affordably. Uh, so I paid less than a dollar for this, like I said, so that might, made my profit $27. So this shirt and the golf belt were uh, sold as a result of my promoted listings trial period that I am doing with Poshmark right now. I can't remember exactly what the details are, but I think I've spent, or I would have spent, it's free right now, $55 over the last seven days promoting my listings, and that has resulted in $201 in sales. So I don't know, I, it's, it's kind of worth it because I wouldn't have had those sales otherwise, uh, or not necessarily, but then also $200 minus 20% would be about $160 minus the $55 would take it down to 100 minus my cost of goods, still probably $80 more than I would have sold otherwise. So. It's up to you guys. Hopefully some of you have gotten to do the trial. If you have, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Uh, I'm trying to share it with you guys who may have not had the trial yet to you know, help you decide if you're gonna pay for it. Uh, we'll just, it'll remain to be seen whether I decide to do it or not. So, okay, today is Wednesday, so there will be another clip after this, hopefully my sales continue to be great like they are. I'm so happy. Okay, see you in a couple days. Hey there, it's Thursday and I have some more great sales to ship out. I guess it's gonna be one of those weeks which makes me oh so happy. I needed a week like this so bad. If you guys have been watching, I've had pretty sale, slow sales, so I'm so excited. Uh, I had another sale on Cherish and it is this stunning vintage art glass vase. It's green with blue in the bottom. I'm not sure who this is by, uh, so I just put vintage art glass summer sew vase green blue faceted glass. So the summer sew refers to uh, the color variation. So I am so, so excited. This sold for $185. I picked this up at a estate sale for $10. Uh, some people say that it is Murano, but I, I think it's more modern. I don't, I don't think for sure that it is Murano, so I did not put that in the title. Did I say I paid $10 for this? So Cherish charges the 22% seller's fee after their fee and my cost of goods. That made my profit $137.60. Yes, yes. <laughs> so excited with these high profits. Let's see, I'm gonna move this out of the way so it doesn't get broken. I'm trying to figure out the safest place to put that. Very, very happy with that sale. And it did not take that long to sell, only a month or two, I think. 
Another pretty great sale is this stunning uh, purse. And this is by Isabel, yeah, Isabel Fiore, Fiore, F-I-O-R-E. And I just picked it up because the quality is gorgeous. I love this kind of embroidery, if you will, uh, detail on the front. So such soft leather and it was almost like brand new condition. The tags weren't attached, but it did have a tag inside one of the pockets and also um, the cross body strap was still attached with a little plastic loop inside the bag. So I really don't think that anybody wore this. I did pay up for this. I paid $30 at the Goodwill, which was kind of a risk, uh, but I just thought it was so gorgeous. I couldn't pass it up. It ended up selling for $97. I had had it listed as high as, let's see, I want this underneath there as high as $139 because there were some comps, uh, for sale comps in that range. But when this buyer, actually, no, I sent out uh, a 30% off offer with discounted shipping and this buyer accepted. Uh, it had been listed a few months and because I had paid up for it, I was wanted to move it out and get that investment back. I'm trying to be extra careful packaging this just because it is so pretty and delicate. So after posh fees and my cost of goods that made my profit $45.58. I would kind of like to have a higher profit for the $30 investment, but I think $45 is still a great profit and I'm not going to complain. I got my investment back. Okay, the next item that sold is this really sweet little uh, baby clothes outfit. It's just this pastel yellow with a tugboat on it. Now it's interesting, I got quite a few sets of these vintage baby clothes and this was the only set that was flawed and it sold first. I picked these up at a fill the bag sale and it was $5 to fill a giant garbage bag. So my average cost of goods was only 15 cents. I don't typically do baby clothes, but because things were so inexpensive and these were kind of nostalgic to me, I decided to go ahead and pick them up. This only sold for $12, but with a 15 cent cost of goods, that's just fine with me. So that made my profit $8.90. You know, I say that I like to try and profit at least $20 per item, uh, but sometimes when I am at a fill the bag sale, I will throw that to the wind because things are so inexpensive and I wanna fill my bag up and get my money's worth, which I certainly did at that sale. Okay, the next item that sold is this pair of Merrill hiking work boots. These do have some dirty marks, but the tread was really great on them. So I decided to uh, pick them up. These sold for $60. I said this before, I do well with Merrill and Keen boots and water shoes. I paid $10 for these. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $38. I think that's great. What a week it has been so far and it's only Thursday. There's two more days left. I don't think either of these sales 
or any of these sales I had on Poshmark are attributed to the uh, promoted listings. So one thing that I have done is I have really dialed back on my automation. So meaning I used to have um, Posher VA share my closet um, like six or seven times a day. I had the automatic offers to likers on and I'm only having Posher VA share my closet about four times a day and I am manually sharing it with the share function or the share tool on Poshmark. And then I've also been sending out offers myself on the likers just once or twice a day instead of immediately. I am thinking that I noticed a significant decrease in my sales when I started using automation tools or partway through. So I'm thinking that the algorithm can somehow sense that and it's kind of hiding our listings maybe. I don't know, that's purely speculation, uh, but I have been trying whatever to you know get my sales back on track so if you are using an automation tool and you're not doing any manual sharing or offers to likers i would suggest that you try that if you have sales slow sales um, could just be a coincidence who knows okay that is all for today hopefully i have some more sales to share with you on saturday so there should be one more clip after this i'll see you then Hey there, it's Saturday and I have some more great sales to ship out. Overall, this has been an amazing week. I'm so thankful. So everything that I have to share today sold on Poshmark. The first item is this Kurt Geiger handbag and his little logo or emblem here is this little bird. I just love his pieces. I was actually very tempted to keep this, but I don't really wear uh, black handbags very much. So uh, Kurt Geiger has a somewhat high retail. This uh, retailed, I think, for $189 or $169. And it was really in beautiful condition. Did I mention that this is made from lambskin? So it is super soft and supple. I picked this up at the Goodwill. This is my first time finding Kurt Geiger. Um, I live in kind of a smaller town, so sometimes I find designer bags and sometimes I don't. I think it's just mainly when donations get shipped to our store. So I paid $17 for it, which was paying up a little bit, but it was in excellent condition and I knew that I could at the very least double my money and if not I would just keep it so it ended up selling for $95 this did sell as part of the promoted listings uh, trial that I'm on with Poshmark but I really think that it would have sold anyways so uh, it sold for 95 I paid 17 so after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $59. I think that's really a great return, uh, even for that higher investment. So the next item is this kind of 90s Southwest tapestry. Killam, K-I-L-I-M, is a term for this kind of fabric and... Um, style so they made originally they made rugs out of this type of fabric i just picked it up because it had kind of the 90s southwest style to it and i found it at a small town thrift store for only three dollars it ended up selling for thirty dollars and i think that's great that's just about what i anticipated it would sell for both this and that Kurt Geiger bag did not take very long to sell. Somewhere in the neighborhood of four to six weeks on each item, which is a quicker kind of turnaround time for me. A lot of my items take a little while to sell because I usually price at the high end and just wait for the right buyer to come along. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $21.
another great profit. Let's see. There we go. I wasn't sure if that was going to fit in the bag that I had got out for it. So I saw three purses over the last couple days, which is great. And um, so this hobo bag, so hobo brand, let's see if I can find the tag. I have mentioned this before. This uh, brand has a decent retail price and the leather is really super soft and they're kind of timeless designs. This one was quite worn. I don't know if you can see that, but it had wear to the glazing. Uh, but I found it for $2, so I picked it up anyways because it still looks good when you carry it and uh, has life left. So I figured someone would kind of like the distressed look and would pick it up anyways, which they did. It sold for $27. Like I said, I had paid $2. So after posh fees and my cost of goods, that made my profit $19.60. Did I mention this also sold as a result of the promoted listings trial? So I think I am up to eight sales. I don't know what the numbers are right now, but I think it said I had spent like $60 and I have somewhere around like $300 in sales. So maybe maybe it is a, it is worth it if I could for certain get this amount of sales, but I don't know. Then I, if I want to take the $70 off of my profit. Anyways, the next item that sold is this darling pair of vintage cowboy boots. And these are by Tony Lama. And I did pay up for these. I'm just double checking. I got them at the Goodwill and I wanna make sure that they didn't have a double tag inside, because there's nothing worse than sending an item to a buyer and have the, having them find a thrift store price tag in there. So these sold for 80, I paid $25. I was on uh, a road trip, and sometimes when I am thrifting on a road trip, I will, pay up for items if I'm not finding that many low price items just to try and make some profit as a result of the trip and also to be able to you to write off a portion of the trip because I am thrift shopping for my business okay so they sold for 80 I paid 25, so that made my profit $39. I think I'm gonna finish packages, packaging these up off camera, just because I want to individually wrap them because they're just so nice. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Did I say my profit was $39? Still a pretty great profit, even for a $25 investment. The next sale is kind of out of character for me, uh, but it is a set of, I think there's 20 of them, I'm not sure. They're little Funko Pop figurines and they are the office characters. I picked these up when I was at a fill the bag sale. I thought there was potential that these, it could be like a rare set or something and they might be worth some money. So sometimes I will just throw in extra stuff at the fill the bag sale to reduce my uh, average cost of goods and kind of learn about different stuff and take a chance on stuff. So those sold for 20, I paid two, so that made my profit $14. That's just fine for an experimental uh, you know, thing, so I'm happy with that. I should have added up my ASP for this week, my average sale price, because I bet it is through the roof. So my total sales for the week was $2,169, so excited. Even if I were to take out that $600 for uh, the piece of furniture, I would still have almost $1,500 in sales, so an outstanding week. 
My total cost of goods was $212.15, so almost 10 times my money. And my total profit after cost of goods, platform fees, and any shipping discounts was $1,606.05. Yes, 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 finally a week where I exceeded my $1,000 profit goal. I almost doubled it. I'm so happy. I'm sure you guys are going to be happy for me too. And I hope that uh, your sales are picking back up. It is August 19th today, 18th or 19th. Uh, so this come, will come out a couple of weeks after that. But I'm so, so excited. I hope that my sales continue to do well. And I will try to remember to either talk about it in the next video or I'll put it in the description box what my... Uh, numbers were for the promoted listing. So how much I sold and how much it cost me. So you guys can kind of get an idea if you haven't been able to try it yet. So thank you so much for watching. If I haven't mentioned it in this, in this video, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. It really helps me out and you'll get notified if you ring the bell when I upload new videos. If you could give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. All those things really help me out and they encourage me. Okay, thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next week.